Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing My Bloody Valentine from 1981. My Bloody Valentine stars Paul Kellman, Lori Hallier, Neil Affleck, Cynthia Dale, Don Frax, Keith Knight, and Patricia Hamilton. My Bloody Valentine was directed by George Mahalka. Now, this one was written by John Bard, based on a story by Stephen Miller. My Bloody Valentine was one of those that, uh, in the 80s, that uh, even though it was um, a Canadian shot slasher film. Um, the MPAA still picked it apart. Um, and this was in 81. This was, you know, um, prior to them really going hard on films. So they really considered this one even worse than films like Friday the 13th and... and Halloween 2 at this point and everything like that. So they went hard on this film and uh, censored um, a lot of the uh, kills in this. Um, and for a while, that was the only way you could see My Bloody Valentine. Until um, more recently, I believe it was Scream Factory who uh, brought out um, a version of it with uh, some rare um, uncut scenes that they found and they kind of restored them into the film. This one is a very good Canadian slasher. Um, doesn't have a name cast. It's, it's all um, local Canadian actors playing these characters that, you know, it doesn't have anyone that you would know. In this, and uh, Neil Affleck is no relation to Ben and Casey Affleck. Um, so, um, but the cast does a good enough job to make them likable characters and believable in the plot that is going on, in which a mind has been. Uh, tempted to be shut down and they are wanting to reopen it and everything and after a big tragedy happened there and um, the town is wanting to push forward and do this and they're having this big party and everything and they've had warnings um, from some demented person um, not to do this, but they don't listen just like all slasher films um, when you're given warnings by the killer. Um, in fact, poor innocent uh, Patricia Hamilton playing Mabel Osborne, this poor woman was so sweet in this film that she suffers this horrible fate of getting her heart cut out and her body uh, roasted in a washer and everything. And it's like, oh my God, this poor woman, she did not deserve that. Why did you do that to that poor woman? Um, <laughs> but the heart is put into a Valentine um, thing that normally would have held candy, but inside of it is poor Mabel's heart. And that is delivered to the uh, local uh, chief of police and everything, um, warning them not to uh, reopen the mine and, and to not have this party that they are planning to have. Um, but yes, it's a very interesting and very good story. The killer in this wearing a miner's outfit um, really is a cool looking um outfit for a killer and the weapon that the killer uses for the most part in this is a pickaxe 
And a pickaxe doesn't get used that much in horror films, so it's a very cool, unique weapon for the killer to use um, for the majority of his kills in here. Um, very well made um, Canadian slasher film, as I said before, even with even with all the uh, gore um, being chopped out of it by the MPAA, it still um, is a good um, slasher film, much like the film I reviewed previously, uh, Killer Party. This is one of those that it's strong enough that it makes it on its own, but you did get to see some of those excised kills in this one, unlike um, Killer Party, unfortunately. Um, but Paul Kelman as T.J. Hanniger is... He's likable, very likable. Um, the relationship between him and Sarah Mercer is really, um, I, 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 it's, it's sweet, but it's kind of rushed, I believe. Um, earlier, she, she is torn between TJ and uh, Axel. And she really... Uh, looks like she's having an issue with TJ, and then all of a sudden she just caves and just uh, wants to be with him right before this big uh, murder spree that's going to happen in the mine. Um, so it's a little convenient, that is, but uh, it's still, the performances are pretty good in here. Um, uh, Neil Affleck as Axel Palmer is... Um, he's awkward. And maybe that's meant to be done with the performance, considering the big reveal by the end of the film. But, um, yeah, um, I, I, I think uh, Paul Kelman was a better um, actor in this film than what uh, Neil Affleck was um, in this one. But overall... Uh, um, George Mahalka did a really good job directing this, although I think he directed some of those sequences in the mine a little bit too dark because uh, it's hard to tell what is going on in some of those scenes, um, even on a more you know pristine, uh, higher quality Blu-ray and everything from uh, uh, Shout Factory and everything here um but yeah um i'm gonna give my bloody valentine from 1981 i am gonna give this film a 8.2 out of 10 it is um a really good um underrated slasher film that really doesn't get talked about much and uh, i think it deserves a little more tension. Um, but what do you guys think of this film? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this review, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this horror movie night. And I hope you will join us tomorrow for another Dark Knight Films night. Thanks for watching.